Hey you guys, it's Christy, and I've been having some fun with some acrylic pouring lately, so I wanted to show y'all how I did this painting. And I also made a frame for this painting that I wanted it to look like a floater frame. And I don't know if you've ever seen a floater frame before, but they can be pretty expensive. A 12 by 12 to fit this painting would have cost around $50. And I made this for under $4. So I'll show you how I did it. So this was my third pour of the night and that's why my space looks so messy. But anyway, I used four different kinds of paint for this. I used Artist Loft, Liquitex Basics, Deco Art, and Golden. And then I also mixed all of them with Floetrol and then layered them into my cup and then just began to pour all of the paints randomly onto the canvas. I think I used about a cup and a half of paint in all. And then I used my torch to get all of the bubbles out and then just kind of let it sit there for a few minutes. While it was sitting, I used some of the spare paint to cover the corners. Any paint that is put on the corners at this point is almost completely sacrificial. It's, it helps the paint to move around easier, but it will be pushed off of the canvas. So it really doesn't even matter what colors you use. So once I had all of my corners covered, I used my torch once again to get all of the rest of the bubbles out. And then I just started moving the canvas around to start spreading that design out and moving the paint around. I really started loving how it looked at this point. It looked like a, an avalanche or I don't know, it just reminded me of winter and cold ice and maybe a snowstorm. I don't know. I loved it though. So about this point, I was pretty satisfied with how it looked. So I left it like that to dry. And here is a close-up of it when it's still wet. It's very, very wet at this point, but you can see all of the detail in the paint. I just love it. One thing I love about this form of art is that it's basically the art of chemistry and physics. And I just think it's beautiful. So after letting it dry, then I was ready to make my frame. And the way that I did this is I started with a one by four and on my table saw, I ripped that down into quarter inch wide pieces. Then I used my miter saw to miter the ends and gave each one a coat of black paint. And I just mo mostly painted the top edge and anything that might be seen from the top. I didn't paint the entire thing because there's really no need to. And once all of those pieces were painted and dry, then I just put them on the edge of the canvas and nailed them into place using my little 18 gauge nail gun. And these pieces, again, it was cut from a one by four and a one by four is actually three quarter inches thick, three quarter inch thick. So the edge of the canvas is one and a half inches thick. So this only covered half of the canvas. Um, and so it'll really give the illusion of that gap that an actual floater frame has. 
And once those pieces were on, then I measured for the main pieces of the frame. And I did measure all four sides, even though they should be exactly the same. Nothing is ever exact. So I measured those, cut those pieces out of one by two lumber. And before attaching them, I painted the inside edge that would be up against the black pieces. And you can see that I mitered the corners on these as well using my miter saw. And then I just nailed those into place the exact same way. And I was able to cut all of these pieces out of one one by two by eight foot piece of lumber with extra left over. And you can buy one piece of pre-primed one by two lumber for under $4. And next I just use some wood filler to fill in all of the little holes. And I also used it to fill in the little gaps on the mitered corners. And once I left that to dry and then sanded it, I gave the frame two coats of paint and it was finished. And here's how it turned out. I'm really pleased with it. It does have that same overall look as a floater frame, but at a much reduced cost. Like I said, the ones to fit a 12 by 12 canvas cost about $50, and this one cost me under $4. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And of course you can always find me and my latest projects over on addictedtodecorating.com. See you next time.